Now, regarding the Las Vegas housing market, what we saw was that, uh, uh, as we predicted in 2011, and we were running around a couple of years, for a couple of years, and uh, telling that to people, that the Las Vegas housing market, single family, family residential SFR, uh, would um, reach a bottom somewhere near the end of 2011, early 2012, and it did. In the first couple of months of 2011, it reached uh, the absolute bottom, and square footage prices were like 45, 50 bucks, you know, max 60 bucks by March 2012. And it was very low compared to where we were before in late 06 and stuff. We were up to about 240 to 20 a square foot. So it corrected basically 65%. So uh, as we said back then, you know, that was the ideal time to buy the Las Vegas uh, single family, family residential housing market. And we're talking homes that used to cost 300000 and then they cost 100000 or somewhere around eighty-five dollars to $100,000. That was the target. And then for the investors, our goal was to rent them out and uh, have a cap rate of about 12%, uh, approximately, you know, around 12%. And that was the possibility. Then we estimated that those home prices would increase by approximately 50% within about a time frame of three to four or five years. So that was our target. Um, what happened was that in 2012, home prices appreciated for the, this type of homes by about 40 to 50 percent within about six months. So by August, September, we were up around 40, 50 percent already. And what we did with our investors and, and people who invested in those houses, some were rented out, of course, and we just said flip them. It's the perfect flip, you know. On average, uh, our clients made 42 percent gross on on these homes and you had to sell them i mean at a 40 percent six months you know you, you're talking a 60 percent annual rate on an analyzed basis it's like 60 percent profit you have to flip this thing and sell it because that's like cash flow for two and a half three years uh, in in many cases so you had to on the net basis so you had to sell them and that was the las vegas market for 2012. so the las vegas uh single family residential market uh um, performed exactly as as we thought it would, meaning the bottom. We th actually we thought it would take much longer for for prices to increase, and they didn't increase uh, in three four years. They increased in six months. We already sold it. So what's the next thing? Right now we are just on the crust of December, uh, 2012, uh, uh, at the end of November, and 2012. And for 2013, we think there's massive inventory coming from foreclosures. They will soften the market, not that we're going to go back to the levels that we had in early 2012, but right now we estimate approximately a 10% correction from current prices, meaning homes that were ninety or $100,000, they went up to about 150, 155. They should be available approximately 130, 135, 130 to 140, I would say 135, 140, that's the price range we're talking about, maybe 130s. And uh, it's still okay for an uh, income uh, model, if that's the case, you know, renting out cap rate will be significantly lower and um, will be only like an 8% range, if at all. And um, there's another segment in the market in Las Vegas which we think has a huge potential in, in residential housing, and that is, and we're going to talk about it more in another segment, but this is the luxury homes market has not recovered at all you know there's lots of properties that are still completely smashed down meaning homes million dollars and up two million bucks and they are really at a bargain price right now i think that's the market for 2013 14 or to just buy them now but now is the time to buy those luxury properties and they are excellent homes um at really a bargain price. Even if they are priced at 200 bucks a square foot, that's fine. You know, for this type of market, for this type of product, it's it's a good deal. There's uh, plenty of inventory in this regard, but I think that's the opportunity that we have for 2013, and f you know, keep them for a few years, and then easily make a 50 percent, 100 percent profit on those properties over a period of a few years. So the good thing is on the Las Vegas uh, residential single-family market, our predictions came true, 
absolutely, which we had in 2011, that by late 2011, early 2012, the, uh, the bottom will be reached in Las Vegas, and it was a tough, tough correction. You know, 65% from the top is a lot, and housing prices were really cheap, and um, meaning square footage 45 to 60, you know, 45 to 50. And now we're talking a more like 80, 85, you know, square foot for. Uh, pre-owned homes. New homes have gone up uh, significantly too and they are around 100 depending on the size of the house. Could be a little bit less, 90 sometimes, you know, square foot, but more like 105 for nice homes. You know, the, we're talking the average um, uh, home, not luxury homes, because they are usually running at around 200 a square foot. But um, there's uh, the opportunity to get really into the Las Vegas market to make big bucks is gone. I mean, even house prices, if they go up 50%, uh, if the, after the correction they go up 50%, you know, that's fine too. If the 10% correction or so from the current prices, they go up 50%, that's fine too. There's still money to be made, but it will take, well, take a while. It won't be happening in 2013, so it's going to take, you know, 2015, 16, somewhere around that time, a few years. That's That's our guess, you know, that's what we think. And um, and they won't be coming much cheaper than the 10% correction from now. Okay, thank you.